Hello, this is Samuel Kim, a Clover Developer Advocate. In this video, we'll be talking about how to use and modify our REST APIs. At Clover, open is better. Developers have access to merchant data regarding order, payment, inventory, and many others. You can find a list of supported endpoints in our REST API reference documentation. These endpoints accept query parameters in the following format. The endpoint URI will vary depending on your market. All development work with dev kits and test merchants should be done on the sandbox environment. For example, a request should look like this. Here are some basic guidelines to follow when you're using the REST APIs. Clover's APIs are only accessible via HTTPS. Request and response entities are in JSON. All API requests are protected by OAuth 2 derived access tokens. See the OAuth 2 documentation or the video for more information. Link is in the description below. Get queries made in browser will also include hyperlinks to the details of each specific object. In order to specify your request, you'll need the following optional parameters. Sorting can be achieved by the order by parameter and an optional ascending or descending parameter. For example, you can sort order by ascending total. The default sort is descending by creation time. You can specify multiple fields by separating them with commas. Fields can be expanded with the expand query parameter. For example, you can expand to show the line items of an order. Filtering is done with the filter parameter. It supports standard comparison operations like equals to, greater or equal to, not equals to, and others. To specify multiple filter params, join them with multiple and filter equals to statements. The offset and limit parameters can be used to paste through larger results. The default limit is 100 elements and the hard limit is 1000. For example, a request for limit equals 1000 and offset equals 1000 will return the second thousand elements. To have a response display all possible fields, you can append return null fields equals true. For each of these parameters, you can find more details on our REST API reference documentation. And if you want to learn more about using our REST APIs, visit our API docs and check out our other videos. And if you have any additional questions, please join us in our discussion on community.clover.com.